boys and girls. Today we're going to do an art project about plants that's going to show all the things we've learned about plants so far. So for today's project, you're going to need four white pieces of paper, or if you have colored paper like I do, you're gonna need a red piece of paper, you're gonna need a green piece of paper, you're gonna need a pink piece of paper, and you're gonna need a blue piece of paper. I'm going to go ahead and draw them on the white paper, and then I'm going to use my colored papers that I had pre-done before. All right, so on the white paper, you're going to need to draw some things. One of the things you're going to need to draw is a flower pot or a planter, because we planted our seeds in a cup, remember? So we're going to just kind of draw a cup. So I'm going to just draw it right here at the top of my paper like this. There's going to be the top of my cup. And then I'm going to draw the pot part of it, or the bottom part of the cup. And it kind of looked like this to me. So I'm just freehand drawing it, and you can do that as well. And it took about, about half of my piece of paper. All right, and then right on here I'm going to write plants, pla, 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 P-L, and, it has that little word and hiding inside, and, and now that says plant, if I want to say plants, I need to add my S, plants, need, n, e, when I have a long E in the middle of a word, it's usually two E's together, plants, need, and then I'm going to put dot, 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 and you know when we see that dot, 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 we stretch out our words like this, plants, need, because this is going to tell what plants need to grow. So we're going to need to draw a flower pot. We're also going to need to draw a line right down the edge of a paper about an inch thick. We have just enough room. I'm going to draw that right down the edge of my paper. Okay, so the plant, uh, the plants need pot. You can color any color you want. You can cut that out. This strip of paper you're going to cut out and color green. And then on another piece of paper, I got them started. You're going to draw these funny looking things that sort of look like two leaves that are connected. And you're going to need four of those. So watch, I'm going to draw the last one over here. So I'm going to sort of draw a leaf like this. Draw a leaf. And then I'm going to draw this kind of straight tubey like thing to connect them. And then I'm going to just draw another leaf. So I have four. One, two, three, four. So I have these things to cut out. So I would cut out my strip of paper that I'm going to color green. I would cut out my flower pot that I can color any color I like. And I would cut out my four leafy-like patterns. I'm just gonna cut out one of them and then I'm gonna show you my pieces that I did earlier this morning. Notice I'm turning the paper instead of turning my hand, and it makes it much easier to cut. All right, so let me show you what I did earlier today. So I have my four green leafy things cut out. I had green paper, but again, if you didn't, you can use the white paper that we did and color them green. So I have one, two, three, four of those. And I have my flower pot. Actually, I didn't cut this one out yet, and I had done mine on red paper. But like we said, you could do any color that you like. So I have my flower pot. I have my four leafy things. I have my big, long green strip. And I have my blue paper to glue it on. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to set my project up right here. So first, I am going to glue my pot at the bottom of the paper. And I forgot my glue, so I'm gonna go get that. Okay, I have my glue, so I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna put glue around the edges, just like we learned at school to put glue around the edges. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue this at the bottom of my paper, like that. 
and then I'm going to take my stem and you see it's a little too tall for my paper so I'm going to go ahead and cut some of it off right there and now I'm going to put some glue around the edges of my stem. And I'm going to glue that right in the middle as if my seed that I planted is growing right out of my pot like that. And then I'm going to take those four leafy patterns that we did and I am going to fold them in half on that dotted on that bar part in the middle. So I'm going to fold them in half like that. Okay, see how I did that? So I'm going to fold these all in half. And fold this one in half. I'm going to fold this one in half. And I'm going to fold this one in half. And I'm going to show you that I put some water words in mine. And you're going to make some words inside yours as well. Okay, I've got mine ready. So I'm going to glue two on this half of my paper. See how these can open up now? See how my leaves can open up? So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here and glue one right there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this side. See, just a little bit. And I'm going to take this part where I folded it and I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to put a little bit of glue this way. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue this way. And I think I'm going to put one right there. And again, don't worry about any glue that squirts out because that will dry. That's a little too close to that one, so I'm going to move it down put it right here. And then I want you to think about what are the four things that we learned that a plant needs to grow. Plants need what? Hmm, you are very smart. I bet you remember that plants need sun, water, air, and soil. So that's what I'm going to write inside on each of these leaves. And you see I did that for us already this morning. So in this one I wrote sun, s-a-n, s-u-n, and I drew a sun. And on this one, plants need, earlier today, I wrote soil. Remember that was our fancy word for dirt? And it's usually, soil is usually special and it has some vitamins and, and minerals that helps our plant to grow. Soil, that's a hard word to spell. And I drew what I thought some soil might look like. And then on this side, whoops, just press it back down if that happens to you too. On this side, I wrote that plants need water. And notice I just drew some drops to show water. And on the last one right here, I wrote plants need air. And then I kind of just made some wavy lines to look like some air is blowing. And now if you want to make yours fancy, you can kind of add some leaf lines to your leaves right here. It's just an idea. Just to make it look a little bit more real. And one more thing you could add to your plant to make it fancy is you might want to cut out a flower and glue up here on top. Just might make it look really fun. Or you could just leave it like this. It looks really good just like that. But if you want, you could take some paper. I have some pink paper, but again, you could draw it on some white paper and color it in any color you wanted. And maybe you want your plant to be a flower. And you can cut that out. Ooh, again, notice how I turn the paper instead of my hand. My hand just stays steady and my hand does open, close, open, close. And it's my paper that turns. And that makes cutting so much easier. I'm going to just cut on those lines, take my time. All right, and then I can put some glue on the back of this one. Uh, although this time, look at, I just want the glue on the bottom. Good thing I checked on that. So I just want the glue right there, and I can put it right there at the top. And again, don't worry about any squirty glue. And maybe you just want to color the center of your flowers. All 
great. And you have a beautiful project showing what we've learned so far about what plants need. They need soil. They need sun. They need air. And they need water. Have fun with that project today. Bye-bye.